There are different definitions of what an active volcano is, and to the public, an active volcano is one that's erupting now. Uh, to a geologist, there are a couple different definitions, and one of them is simply that it's been active in the last 10,000 years, that there's been an eruption. At Yellowstone, there hasn't been an eruption of magma in the last 10,000 years, but we see so many other indications that show that the system is alive, it's breathing, and there's fire below that could again come to the surface in the future. Scientists have become quite successful at predicting on a short-term level whether a volcano is going to erupt or not. The most likely things that we'll see is some significant ground deformation, where the ground is moving significantly upward. We'd also combine that with seismic activity, earthquakes. You might also expect some sort of a thermal anomaly where we see increased gas flux or increased heat flux in an area. This is a pool called Black Pit, and it's in the Norris Geyser Basin, and we are sampling the gases and steam that are coming out of this feature. We know that magmas are down there. They're putting off a lot of gas. So our goal as geochemists is to collect the gases and try to sort out what's happening one, two, three miles below us. And so we can look at the ratios of different gas species, say carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide, hydrogen to hydrogen sulfide, and we can try to unravel the temperatures and the pressures beneath us. I don't think that anything is due for us in the near future. I don't think that's very likely. I do think that Yellowstone is an active system and it can have eruptions in the future. And so our job is to make sure that we're prepared and that we know what's going on.